Attention all passengers. The temperature outside is minus 119 degrees Celsius. We are six years, nine months, and 26 days from departure. For your personal safety, be prepared to brace. Mr. Wilford runs our train based on three principles. Can I borrow you for a second? Work, honor, and order. Each of us in our place. Never forget who you are. A tailie. We figured out a way to survive in the shadows. How about we leave this hell behind? There's an idea traveling up train. And all it needs is a spark. We march to the engine! What is it you see when you look at this train? I see a fortress to class. I see a balance of need and speed and greed. I see 3,000 souls surviving on a planet determined to freeze all life in ice. We're still in motion. Crush every last spark of this mutiny now. Forever. I am fighting to do what I know is right. Once you pass through that door, there's no turning back. Welcome and good morning. This is C. Fernald here. I'm taking you to Russia. Get ready. The wind is whipping. It's incredible. So I'm going to show you first, this is the original, and I said, that's an interesting picture. Let me do a little filtering, right? So you know how I go. So I started filtering it, and I got it just right. Let me show you. Zap. Wipe away the old. Now that's what I was really seeing. I knew that was happening. Now as you watch this, it's going to get very, very cold and windy. And uh, I'm going to throw some retro music up. You might like it. You might not. Anyways, welcome to the show. I see a dark shadow on the right. A crazy little sun, really. Or, could be the yellow star. Or, could be the sun simulator. And at the bottom, I see a greenish looking planet coming up. So I didn't add color, I just took away light. And there you go. Check it out. I'll be back. Listen to this tune.
morning, get some coffee. I just took you over to Iceland, uh, Lapland, and then I'm going to take you to another area of Iceland or Lapland, Norway, all those areas. Check this out. I see a few things happening. Watch. Mama, you better break out that sky bug spray because these bugs in the sky are getting thick. Woo, pestilence coming down. Those are just bugs on the lens. Get over it. Come on. Get into the cup of coffee. Oh, I'm not saying some could be like UFOs or something. Oh, no, I'm not saying that it's not a UFO. So really I'm not saying they are UFOs, I'm not saying they're not UFOs. I actually learned to believe that there's some kind of unidentified flat object. Doesn't matter who makes them. They're unidentified to me until you guys tell me. Okay, we got that. Norway skies are a rough neighborhood. Let's chill out for a second. Let me take you to... Let's do some filtering, alright? Calm down, let's do some filtering. Welcome everybody to CCTV. Check this out. Uh, Mark Reed over on Facebook was asked by um, Martira Rubbles, Gil Chavez, to what are these lights in the sky he caught? And I don't know where it's from. Uh, Acapulco, Mexico, which is about right. And um, Check this out. Um, I got this in my in my filter. Here. This is on the Facebook, but I'm going to show you my filter version of this. Filter version. I did a little bit of work before I got on here. With my eraser right here. Let me show you something, guys. Get a race piece, right? okay. I could erase these. I don't want to do it. So they're objects. You got it? 
So they're leaving a signature that I think is pretty interesting. a signature. Let's go a little deeper. And so these objects are they're real objects. Mark x-rayed them. Got me curious. So I said I'm going to do a little show on it. So I'm going to take you into the forensic now. It's going to be a little forensic show, you know. So um, what I call a forensic show, filtering show. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Now let's go into the eraser. That was the eraser. Let's go into my filter. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Filter. No, that's eraser. Filter right here. Now on the filter, I did a little bit of filtering. So these are round, bright red objects. They really got a a red glow to them. I'm just kind of going through the filters right now. Definitely something there. Now if I go ahead and do the auto correct, they even get brighter. So these objects, to me, guys, I'm going to tell you honestly, let's say we take this object right here. Take my little pencil here and get it small enough. This is almost the outer rim. When I first looked at this, I was like, this is an outer rim. This is like each one of these, right, is a saucer. That's what I was just thinking out loud, right? I said, okay. So, could that be? Well, let's go deeper. So I did my little filter on it. I'm going to do some auto filters while I'm here. These are preset. The two suns is preset. Now we count. I'll tell you right now. Watch how we count this right now and then watch what happens. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects, right? But there's actually nine. And I'll show you. I'm going to show you that. Go a little bit more darker. These are just uh, dehazing it. I do the auto correct, and these things got a lot of energy coming out of them. In front of this cloud, this is just a cloud. I've, I've dehazed it and I've uh, tried to erase it, and this is just a cloud that this, these objects are sitting in front of. I also notice that we have these little triangles forming, right? See these little triangles? Well, there's got to be two more, right? So watch. Okay, so. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to show you a couple of filters. We've got some good music. These things are putting out some energy, man. I like this one. No, I don't like that one. Now this is just, I don't know what this picture means. There you go. So as you can see, they're real objects and they're doing something, right? Haha, <laughs> that's pretty wild. Okay, let's go on. Let me see here. What's next? Alright, it's my favorite little tool. We got what we call a magnifier. Those are uh, music created on Evo. Got kind of loud, some of that. 
some songs are louder. But on my magnifier, I'm going to do the auto contrast. We're going to go up close. See, so each one, we're looking at an object. Okay, so. And we got an auto contract by channel. It's going to give you a little bit more separation of, well, remember I told you I've seen like a circle around it. So could each one of these be the, you know, just a, is that the magnetic field or is that the radiation? You know, I don't know, guys. That definitely ships. And I'll prove that to you, no, no doubt. So this little forensic tool is pretty neat to have. You can get really close, find out what stuff is. See, I think that right there is an object because it gets red, you'll see. And this stuff, I declouded it, didn't find nothing of any interest. But I think that's a ship or some type of craft right there in the clouds. Now, let's go on. So clone detection, this little device here will show me clones. And I see behind, I can't zoom in on this. I guess I could. But behind like this, uh, clone detector, behind this object right here, let's quantumize. Now, let's do a count. Remember we talked about the count, right? Now this is showing, this is the clone. This is like whatever's really here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, yeah, like nine. This is a maybe ten. Okay, so let's unquantum it. Quantumize. Now see the little lines here. Similarities like point ten, um, and then you have different levels of similarities. See how it turns it off. So point ten, and there could actually be invisible objects we don't see. Just saying. So we know at, at point ten. There's cloned objects, right? Behind those little purple ones. This little device up here, and this little object down here. Remember that? It's showing it as an object. We know the tree's an object, but what's up beside the tree? So 10 objects, right? We've got that. And that's the clone device. See how they're they're showing you there's more things in the sky than meets the eye. See those are all clone clone pieces. As I scroll through this device, they'll keep showing you which ones are exactly the same objects. They're identical. Pretty wild, huh? Okay, I listen to some music for a second. I like the song. Okay, we got that. We're gonna All right, let's get off of this one. Now in this shot right here, it shows you the surrounding area.
So you get to see the surrounding area of it. You got a magnifier on here. Here's your opacity. Bring it right back to the normal picture, right? You see the edge of that thing? Error scale. You can see that each item has that blue ring around it. So they could be saucers, just saying. And as you bring the opacity in, you start seeing the actual. contrast by channel gives you just a little bit more now by noise you got your hub inside the middle and then you got this green outer layer showing you a rim of metal so I said I, I checked it out before I, I did this the one two three four five six all you see some kind of object right there bring your opacity back down, bam, same picture. Still got the little shape around the edge, right? So you see the little arrow? Okay. We cleared that up, right? So we know we got something real. A little bit more intense view. Now let's go to the level sweep. I'm just gonna bring it from the opacity. Look at that, guys. Come on. Diamond shaped. This is straight out of some, well, some kind of science fiction storybook. There's one up there, and there's something there, and there's something there, but. Gives you a little bit more how they're glowing in the clouds. See that object right there? That black object? That's something. Okay, now. Luminous Grandinus. This one's a real cake. This is a cherry on the cake. You see that? These are actually orbs. They're actually objects, guys. It shows the roundness of it. The texture of it. For sure, the 3D, they're real. We x-rayed them. We knew they were real. But I'm telling you right now, these things are flying saucers. There's the outer rim. Here's the outer rim. Took the intensity off of it, the opacity off of it. You can see we have nine, actually nine flying saucers. Right there's that one I told you was hiding, it was cloaked. One right here is cloaked behind this one. Wow, epic, huh? Nice catch, guys. We go down here to the principal components, luminous granus, and it will show you another version right there. There's an inverted version of it. You see how it indents the cloud, guys? Wow. object that's a real object I'm gonna rise Color. here we go that's the ultimate right there stuff going on oh 
Look at that. There's the center. And there's the outer edge. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven objects, guys. Not seeing any difference in them. These things are red hot energy, man. Whew. Who knows what they're beaming down on these people, right? Come on. Get with the program. Distance apart. There you go. A little introverted. Saucers, baby, saucers. Okay, so what do you do when you see stuff like this in Alcapoco? Well, according to four years of study in Alcapoco, this is about normal. We've seen all kinds of plasma strikes and warfare in the sky. Me and Ken have, uh, Ken K, one of my researchers, we've seen this stuff. These are like little suns, you know, of energy. Look at these things. So ain't no ball cloud lightning. Oh, someone like, that's, that's ball lightning. That ain't no ball lightning. Get a grip. Now, what I'm saying that is, see that? They are objects, guys. All right, music maestro. Talk to you later. Thanks, Mark Reed, for that one.